Hi Aquarius, this is your forecast for the month of July 2016. This is a general reading for Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Rising, or Aquarius Moon. If you have a different rising or moon sign, you might find watching those videos helpful or more informative for you. Please remember that these are general readings and so they may not apply to everyone. If you would like a reading that is specific to you, please visit my website at thealchemistastrologer.com provided on the link at the upper corner. If you have visited the site before, you will need to clear your browser's cache for the schedule button to function properly. So for you Aquarius, the first week is an important one. This is a major card. So this is the card of justice. And so this week you're concerned about restoring order to a situation, something that hasn't been in balance. You want to make sure that is restored. Uh, and so it could be for some of you, this is a week where maybe you have some kind of legal issue, you're dealing with lawyers or judges, some kind of arbitration. Uh, for others of you, you need to make some kind of important decision where you need to find balance and be objective, use your analytical skills. Uh, maybe you're coming up with some kind of a strategy. Uh, some of you are being careful about your money. Uh, maybe you are dealing with some kind of contract or some kind of binding agreement. Others of you are just, you know, doing some kind of personal examination, whether that's your conscience or integrity issues, uh, being accountable about something, uh, carefully considering your choices in a situation. Now, because this is a, is a card about balance, this is a week where you can, if new things come into play, you're able to take that, you know, in stride without upsetting the other areas of your life. Uh, it's possible that you, you'll have to strike a balance and make some adjustments to accommodate something unexpected. Uh, either that's because you've decided that you want to do something that's pleasing to you, or perhaps you want to please somebody that you care for, or perhaps you're having to make some adjustments because you've suffered some kind of a loss and you need to restore order to that. Also, this is a card about uh, being judged in some way. And so you're particularly concerned about fair outcomes. Maybe you're settling an old debt or you're having that or you're looking for someone to pay you back for something that's owed to you in whatever form, whether this is emotionally uh, or it's uh, financially. But because this is about making sure that things are right, whatever has been wrong is being righted, life is going to be a little bit uh, more demanding on you. And so any mistakes that you make right now are going to be magnified. People are going to be watching those and holding you accountable for that. Um, so this could be a week where you decide you want to maybe have a better, get your life in order more, establish a better balance in your life, in the way you operate during the week, your daily routine, and deciding about whether you're taking on too much or you're not doing enough. But the overall uh, focus is, you know, fairness. So. This could be a week where you could reorganize your agenda, prioritize to meet your obligations and give yourself a greater peace of mind. And uh, this could be a week where it's maybe a little bit difficult if you're in some sticky situations. It might be, um, it might take more effort on your part to remove yourself from that. And some of you may be a little bit sensitive this week. And so you, maybe you're 
particularly sensitive to criticism from others and maybe you take offense even if the other person didn't mean to do so. So make sure that you try to remain as objective as you can. Now the second week you have the Eight of Cups. So maybe you've come to some kind of a decision and maybe that decision is simply to walk away from from something because this week there's a turning point you're moving on and you're turning your back on something that has been disappointing or difficult or you're deciding to leave your past behind in some manner uh, maybe there's some job changes or relocation or you're, you're moving away from something and towards something else and you may not even be exactly sure of what you're moving toward but you're just disenchanted with what is behind you and so for this week there's some kind of a decline on some level of a situation so you 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 took stock perhaps last week and now there's a personal reality check that gives you an inner balance and the clarity of purpose about where you're headed so now now that you've considered everything and what is right what is fair you've put in your um, the, your analytical thinking process has occurred now you're ready to make some decisions about your own future and it could be that it's easy if you've had any kind of inner turmoil or emotional conflict that has been holding you back this is a week where you could resolve that and put that to rest anything that's been keeping you from um, being your own person, making progress, maintaining your sense of individuality. This could be a week where you put those issues aside and either take charge of a situation or uh, walk away from something or save something that's important to you. Whether that's a situation or a relationship, you've determined that anything that's been holding you back, you are going to let that go. Anything that hasn't been good for you it's going to be easier for you to step back from that now now for some of you maybe you haven't reached that place in which case you're you might be taking some time away from everything else to contemplate to decide what it is that you truly want where you're headed what you want so in this case there could be some self-imposed isolation uh, and because you are having to deal with some cold hard truths uh, this may be very challenging for you you may be having difficulty grasping with the reality of a situation and so and you may be being extraordinarily hard on yourself because of it so this could be a week where if that's the case you've decided to go off on your own to do some thinking now the third week you have the eight of wands and so now things are moving quickly something is coming to a head and maybe you're overcoming whatever it was that was holding you back previously uh, blockages can be removed now opportunities can arrive and something is manifesting here on the physical plane there's quick action involved perhaps some kind of conclusion and you're moving ahead so this could be a job offer or maybe you're doing some traveling or maybe you are you know having some communication or dealing with with uh, people on the internet but there is definite movement here but things are happening in such a way that you you didn't plan on the way they're playing out something is unexpected and things are moving quickly and so very few situations are going to go according to whatever it is that you had planned so you can expect uh, the unexpected with regard to situations and other people so even though maybe you thought you had you know gone over things in your head you were trying to come up with a plan uh, maybe you spent some time away to kind of gain a greater focus regardless of that things are going to push you to kind of step back again and readjust your focus even if you thought you were sure about your choices because something is going to trigger you to have to make an adjustment whether that's 
because you've chosen to or because external circumstances are forcing you to. So something unexpected is going to push you to have to move very quickly to, to finish something up or to get something started or to try to save what's already in place because of some new situation that arrives for you this week. But for many of you, you're going to be able to accomplish a lot and even more so than you expected. And if you were having trouble making decisions earlier in the month, this could be a week where it's very easy for you to make sound decisions quickly. But again, some of you could feel overwhelmed that indeed situations are running away from you and you're having to catch up to what's happening. Uh, so this is a week for you to jump in the mix and create that happy ending that you're looking for rather than waiting for it to occur on its own because in that case you may be disappointed with the outcome. Now the last week you have the Four of Swords and so again there seems to be this time out. Maybe you need to rest or maybe you're preparing for something behind the scenes or maybe you've got some new information that came in the last week that's making you reconsider your position. Maybe you're having to take some time out and decide what you're going to do next. For some of you maybe you're traveling and you're, you know, you were traveling because you were taking a vacation. Maybe you're taking a vacation this week or you, you're recovering from something in some way. Some of you may have been ill or have contact with people who are. So there may be contact with hospitals or a doctor visit. Uh, maybe you're recuperating from something. But this is a card about rest and basically of nothing happening. So situations are hanging in limbo. There's a lack of activity, a lack of communication. And again, you could be just trying to figure out what your next move should be. But it's likely that some kind of situation or some event will occur in the very near future that's going to jumpstart your situation for you in some way and restore things or that's going to put your sense of security and motivation at risk. So whatever has happened, you're now in a process where something has recently ended and you may need to reorganize yourself in some way. So this would be a week for you to avoid any temptation to take something to extremes. Remember we started off the month with the Justice card and this is about restoring order and balance. So you need to avoid taking situations to an extreme either by trying to, to do something too much or to do something, you know, trying too little for something. So you've reached this plateau. You're at this standstill now. Whatever has occurred, now you're, you're, it's, it's culminated. And so if you can just maintain this holding pattern for a minute without, you know, jumping to conclusions or assuming that all is lost or the, the worst is about to happen, the better off you'll be. So this is, you know, a quiet period and, and try to, um, Main, maintain your equilibrium throughout that. Even if you feel as if nothing is moving forward or if things are not moving as quickly as the way that you'd hoped. Now for some of you this could mean that you're in this avoidance mode which that's not good either. So it could be that there are too many things, too many loose ends hanging around, uh, matters hanging in limbo and maybe you're just avoiding. Maybe you're not dealing with things. You're wishing a problem would go away or something is obviously dead that you're trying to save or resurrect or you're in denial and you're denying the facts about a situation. So obviously that would be um, harmful to you. And it's likely that because there's not a lot of movement right now you realize that Maybe your options are a little bit limited. Maybe you don't have quite, the, you know, all of the uh, ability to make choices that you would like to. Uh, but remember that if you, it's necessary for you to possibly take a time out, consider your stance, 
carefully, but you still need to deal with your issues. So if you don't deal with your issues in a timely manner, it's only going to complicate things by snowballing and jeopardizing other situations. So now the overall energy is the devil. And so this could be a month where you are focused on uh, any kind of pattern of behavior, any kind of conditioning that has kept you in bondage or, or has kept you limited in some way. Now, for some of you, this could mean that you're in relationships that are destructive or you f you're feeling oppressed by situations or toxic relationships. Some of you may have some kind of unhealthy attachment or an addiction that you're struggling with. Maybe you're overly concerned with money. For some of you, maybe business issues are in focus this month. Uh, maybe you are involved with people that are controlling your life or you're, you know, again, dealing with um, some kind of unhappy choice that you need to make or you're refusing to leave a bad situation. You don't know what to do or how to get past it. Maybe you feel stuck and confined in a situation or a relationship. And again, there could be obsessions with power, sex, money, uh, whatever it is that makes you feel stuck and chained to a pattern of behavior that is chronic and self-perpetuating. The good news is that if you're very determined this month, the stronger that determination is, the more likely you are to move forward in a situation. But this is also a card of temptation. And so if you decide you want to get your way with something, whether it's good or not, it's, it'll be easier for you this month to talk yourself into something or to talk someone else into something that suits your purpose and serves your agenda, whether that's constructive or not. So self-control is a big issue this month. And having to use the self-discipline to avoid, you know, falling prey to temptation because temptation can be very challenging for you this month. Uh, your instincts could be very strong for emotional or material gain. And you're going to have to be careful about letting your passions lead you in either the right or the wrong direction. Now, if you stay on top of things, it's possible for you to encounter some opportunities, some strokes of good luck or some flashes of creativity that are inspired or, you know, something that can help you that could save you just in the nick of time. But this is not a month for pushing your luck too far. Uh, and and not trying to uh, cut corners or take shortcuts because if that's the case, you know, you may have to pay the consequences for that. So this is a month to take a practical, balanced, and common sense approach to keep your optimism and your enthusiasm in check in order to prevent you from taking on more than you can actually handle. Because there's going to be a strong desire for you for personal recognition, for achievement, and also you're going to have a very strong psychological uh, insight into the motivation of other people and what their intentions are and what their merit is. This could be a month where you are tempted to procrastinate or take foolish risks or behave in manners that are harmful rather than good for you, good for you. So perhaps you have this need to be desired or to be of service that has to be balanced against the fear of being used or exploited or um, that other people will put too many demands on you that you're not capable of giving back. So again, the temptation is to push yourself beyond your limits, 
which can lead you to uh, mistake no-win situations for a challenge when in fact it's not a challenge it's simply a no-win situation so this is a month for you to be very self-aware of what your limitations are and what your motivations are so I hope this was helpful for you Aquarius I hope you enjoyed this reading and I would greatly appreciate your subscriptions your likes and kind comments for those of you who have already offered your support know that I'm especially grateful have a wonderful July and I look forward to speaking with you next month